Let's rewrite each of the following series using summation notation. For number one, note that we have an infinite series. So we're going to start our index at one and sum from one to infinity. Also notice that we have alternating signs, so we want to multiply by some power of negative one. Since the first term is positive, we'll make it negative one to the power n plus one. Also notice that in the numerator, the number is always two, so we'll, we'll also multiply by two. In the denominator, we are increasing by two each time, so we have a constant first difference of two, that means it's a linear formula, slope of two, and then we adjust for our first term. When n is one, I want the denominator to equal three. Two times n only gives me two, so to get three, I add one. The next series is also infinite, so I'm going to sum from n equals 1 to infinity. It is also an alternating series, so I will have some form of negative 1 raised to a power. This time we start with a negative first term, so I just need negative 1 to the power n. In my denominator, the term values are increasing by 1. That's a constant first difference, so it's a linear formula with a slope of 1. And then to adjust, when n is 1, I want to get 5 in the denominator, so I add 4. Now in the numerator, our values, term values, are increasing by 2 in absolute value. So again, it's a constant first difference with a linear formula of 2n. And then we plug in n equals 1 to see if we need to adjust for our first term. When n is 1, that's going to give me a 2 in the numerator, so I do not need to adjust. Number three is also an infinite series. We will sum from n equals one to infinity. It is an alternating series with the first term positive, so negative one to the power n plus one. The numerator is always one on top. In the denominator, we have the square root of something in every term, and those numbers are increasing by one. So it is n, and when I plug in my first n value of 1, I want to get 2, so I adjust it by adding 1. 